بنابحان ويسوء بابولين مسلمين توقوية أمريكا وكاشانا يمام الكمغالات الكولومبوس وحايو يهو قامياشا ديماها كالي يا وحا كسو قيب غاليكو منان كم إذا دوتك كنو المغالات الكولومبوس يسيدو كاليكو وكالو وكاكالي يميد كولادا دل كان مرايكا كأيه كندا بنابحا ووجيد كي سوها سيدا أي بلشاد وغحون تهاي دل كي لوغ يستي عالها ونا حاريستي شيا محمد حسن ولغو ديلي مغالات الكولومبوس أي سعود دير أو بنابحا ياشو أي كم مرين ودوين كواوين اي برتماها مغالا دا وحاي اقو دنبين اسوغو تاگين وجهاد دا هوري اي لغا غالو اقل كالوغا ارمي اي غوغل كواهايو وحا هال كاكولا هال لي دد كي اسوغو يمي دهو غامي ياش الديمها كالي دوان او رمان تو دسكو راعي ان فال كالوغو ديليشا محمد حسن او يهي مد داريان مروغالا كو ابو ري غو دهان غوغل كا ايا غو غو باغي كانو عصدين لا مها امنيغا يا باري تانو دو اي دادالا ديرا دا كو بيح سيدي قعان تلوغو صور ديگي لها اسلا ماركانا شرعيقا لو هركيني لها عدي كدن بيسي ديلك الشيق محمد قار كميدا ديبت بحياشا او دريان كودا كدي بتيا مورتن ايا شايقي ان وحلاقو حمالا اي تاي ان ديل ارحان درا اللوغ جيستو ميت كميدا دوتكي وقودا رقا قبنا چالي يداها مسلمين تمرايكن كا غارهان نچالي يدا سوماليد اي قبل كو هايو بوليس كا ايا ولي ودا باري تارنا دا يدا بقال كلو هايو عدي كدن بيسي ديلك الشيق م ايه واور بحينا اي سو سارين كغا عود صدي ان عدي ها شاع ما هيسا معلومات دي راد او لحلي لدل كشيغ محامل حسن او ها امام دغتر يولي با جنح صدى داري يالا دانير تا اقوان تا ايو دانير دا لدى على دعي سدي باتو ينكا كدا شمان دوريها اي لو دا اغان لا ما هاكو هاو لنباري تان کا السلام عليكم everyone again thank you very much you all know that we are here today to show support Uh, for our brother, our late brother, uh, Imam uh, Muhammad Hassan. Uh, he was a father, he was a brother, he was a husband, he was a community leader, he was an Imam, and uh, the most important, he was a man of all humanity. Uh, we are here again uh, to show that support in solidarity. Uh, we have here faith leaders, uh, community leaders, uh, business leaders, and uh, they would be addressing uh, the, the crowd. So I would want to introduce first uh, Imran Malik, who would also be introducing us, uh, the rest of the speakers, and we would be going from there. Again, our uh, match for today is seeking justice for Imam Mohammed. Uh, Imran, please come forward, and then uh, we would go from there. Assalamu alaikum everybody and peace be with you all. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Walasr inna linsana la fi husr. Illa lazina manu wa amilu salihati wa tawasu bil haqqi wa tawasu bil sabr. Dear brothers and sisters, before I go any further with my remarks and also introducing our interfaith partners who have been here for the last 35 years, working with us in solidarity of building bridges and fighting for peace and justice in our beautiful city. I will also like to take a pleasure to introduce the son and the daughter of Imam Muhammad Hassan, the late. They are also here with us. So inshallah, once we are done with our, uh, our, our notes and our comments, inshallah, please take time to do the condolences with them as well, inshallah. And there'll be a lot more that the, the Somali leadership, inshallah, from the Central Ohio will be doing forward, collaborating and letting everybody know what the status is of, uh, of, of uh, this, uh, this case that you know, we unfortunately has uh, been witnessing for last uh, quite some time. Dear brothers and sisters, the beautiful city of Columbus has lost a loving father, a husband, a family man, and a leader who was not loved by few, but thousands of people all around the nation and also abroad. This beautiful soul was lost to an act of senseless violence and hatred. This is not the first time a faith leader, a, a social advocate, and a peace builder has been targeted in our beautiful city. You all remember a couple of years ago, a youth advocate, Amber Evans, also unfortunately had the same destination of being brutally murdered by her kidnappers. And that, this, this, this tragedy unfortunately takes, takes home uh, the memories of Amber Evans as well. But let's hope that and pray that it is definitely the last time our city is witnessing such tragedy. Our city has seen enough of such violence, and it's time we put an end to, the, uh, to such atrocities and life loss tragedies. 
We request our city's leadership, our law enforcement, and our public safety to bring justice and don't let any stone be unturned in their efforts to resolve the case of Imam Muhammad. The family of the Dr. Muhammad and all those who we have lost in, to the senseless hate and homicides over the years, you all have our support. The Muslim community attends united, uh, stands united with all our American brothers and sisters locally and nationally for support and solidarity for social justice for everyone. We are each other's keepers, my brothers and sisters, and together we move forward and stronger as a city and as a multicultural community and a nation. There is no room for hate in our central Ohio ecology, and that's the message we have to send out loud and clear. And your presence today here is definitely a symbol and a representation of that conviction, to, uh, conviction and messaging out to everyone that there is no hate in central Ohio. My brothers and sisters, we call everyone who stands here under the sovereignty of the American flag that less ju justice shall prevail, justice shall propel, justice shall thrive, and just justice shall see no color, race, or creed in our societies to give hope, a full, full-fledged chance for a brighter and prosperous tomorrow for everyone. My brothers and sisters, let's unite our efforts and put our conviction to work. We all need to do our parts, and I would like to re-echo the famous saying of uh, Martin Luther Jr. King, the best leader our nation and our land has seen in decades and centuries. He said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects everyone. My brothers and sisters, we all came here in peace, we marched in peace, and we all will leave in peace as well. Now let's hear from all the great faith leaders of our community. It's my utmost pleasure to first introduce Rabbi Sharon Mars, who has been an interfaith partner and advocate and a leader of Temple Israel. And they recently had a new building here built in downtown Columbus. I would urge you all to definitely come out and visit them. And let's continue this partnership and collaboration and our messaging of solidarity together. Thank you, Imran. Thank you so I have a very short comment for you, my friends. And it's what we just did, but it's what we'll keep on doing. It comes from Psalm 23, and the words in Hebrew go like this. Gam ki elech begeit salmavet, lo irara ki ata imadi. Yea, though I walk through the valley of deep darkness, Yea, though I walk, I walk, and I will walk, and I will walk some more, and we will have to walk this terrible road that is in front of us. Your community has lost so much. Our community has lost a great man, and the only solution is to keep on walking. That's the operative verb. Walk out of that valley walk and give a hand up to the next person that's next to you walk and see behind the mask of the human that's right there next to you that's not a person with a particular skin type or a particular race or a particular religion they are all of that and more they're a beating heart they're a pulsing soul and if we cannot see behind these masks at last and see each other as the human beings that we are then we will never be able to walk out of that valley but I know we can walk together I know we have what's in us and I bless you my friends with nothing but the power to walk Uh, thank you again, everyone. Uh, we have here faith leaders, as I have said earlier, from all across the nation. Uh, some of them will uh, speak to you and address the crowd. Uh, but before that, I would want it also uh, to in introduce you, uh, Care uh, Director, uh, Care Ohio Director, Amina Burhan, and then she's going to say a few words and then uh, the, re the remaining uh, speakers will follow. Uh, we will try at least to keep it as short as possible, and I would ask an everyone at least to keep it to three minutes, no more than three minutes, please. Thank you. Hold all three. 
Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Amina Badhumi. I'm the acting executive director of the Ohio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. What a beautiful gathering. What a beautiful gathering for a beautiful soul. Imam Muhammad died. And but our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has taught us when you pass away you leave behind three things. One, sustainable charity. Imam Muhammad, there is not one person in need that was around him or a cause or a project which he did not either contribute or bring people in to contribute. Two, I met beautiful family members and extended family members over the course of days. I did not have the pleasure to know Imam Muhammad really well, but I've learned so many beautiful things about him. And one thing that we know is that he leaves behind a sustainable charity. I'm going to put a plug for a Launch Good campaign that his children have put together, launchgood.com backslash back, M for Muhammad, H for Hassan, and then A for Adam. M H A. And if you go there, you're able to contribute to sustain this legacy of his because these are rewards that he continues to have even if he's not with us. The second thing that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that someone who dies leaves behind is knowledge that is perpetual. Along the course of just a week, I've met so many of his students and so many individuals that he's taught. What they carry on is a legacy of his. He leaves, he, he lives in every single one of them and the knowledge that he passed on, whether it be knowledge of Quran, knowledge of mentorship, knowledge of how to just live your, your life as a good citizen. That is something he passes on and gets rewarded for every moment you make those good choices. And, he, and another thing that is left behind are children that continue to say prayers. And what I've learned along the way is that there's the family, the immediate family, and then there's the focus family. And I think everyone that stands here today understands that he was part of their family and that we're all at some capacity going to make dua for him. And that is the kind of legacy he lives on. And that is the kind of beautiful person he was. And I'll say this, we march peacefully. We're here to show the city that this is a man that is special to us, that is loved. It is not okay to murder a black immigrant Somali, visibly Muslim man and get away with it. We march peacefully but we also are ready at a moment's notice if anything does not go the way that it should, that we will hold those accountable. And everybody here knows this. No one's speaking up because we want to be able to have his legacy live on. But at a moment's notice, we are ready. And there are hundreds and thousands of others that don't stand here today across the country and across the world that we know will do the same. And so we just want to be able to say that loud and clear in case it is not. Thank you. What do we want? Justice. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you. What do we want? Justice. Uh, thank you, um, Amina. Um, again, uh, we would want it to keep as short as possible. Um, we're all here to support that support uh, for uh, seeking justice for Imam uh, Muhammad. Uh, I have here uh, to welcome to the podium uh, Rabbi Hilal Iskang, uh, Congregation Traverse Israel. Salam alaikum. In the story in 
the beginning of the five books of Moses, a holy text to us all, talks of Cain and Abel, two brothers who, despite the fact that they had no one else to talk to in the world of sibling relations, could not find a way to get along. And after Cain takes Abel's life, God comes and says, where is your brother? And Cain says, Hashomer achi anochi am I my brother's keeper? And as was mentioned just a few moments ago, yes, we are our brother's keeper. And God says quite clearly, I know what happened because kol dmei achi chatzo akim elai min ha'adama, which means the blood of your brother is shouting out to me from the ground. Well, the blood of our brother, the blood of this beloved imam, of this beloved leader, of this father, of this incredible charitable man is calling out to all of us from the ground. And it is our responsibility to remember that we are each other's keepers, we stand for one another. And to figure out who is Cain in this story. And to make sure that that blood cries out for good and for continued friendship and community and for acts of kindness and acts of love and acts of peace for one and all to perpetuate his memory and to foster the siblinghood and the brotherhood and the sisterhood and the kindness and the wonderful community that we work toward here in Columbus. We pray that God bring comfort and consolation to those in mourning and that may the one who brings peace on all of us bring peace to this community as well. And we say together, Amen. Uh, thank you, Rabbi uh, Hilal. Uh, we have also here, uh, one thing we all know for sure, that uh, Imam Muhammad has touched so many lives. Uh, and we wanted to keep that legacy. So he was the man of all humanity. So let us all show support and let us all make sure that that legacy stays alive. I would want it to uh, welcome to the podium to Rabbi Sharon Mers. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, then we can uh, move to the next. Uh, Tom Fanson uh, from Fast Community Church of Dublin. And then uh, he will say a few words too. Assalamu alaikum. My speech will be short. I feel rather unworthy to be speaking you, to you here today. I did not know the esteemed Imam doctor in this life. I'm also a seminary student and not as eloquent nor as theologically knowledgeable as these other faith leaders. So I can only tell you very simply what I see, and that's a community that's in mourning, a community that is hurt. A great community that under, doesn't understand the senseless violence that just occurred. A community that knows the statistics that only one out of 40 Somali murders have been solved in the Columbus area. And a community that is deeply concern, concerned that their government will not take the necessary steps to seek justice. And this is what I see. And I can tell you one thing I know, and I know that God asks us and calls us to seek justice for all. And that justice isn't just for those within our own religion or race or creed. That justice is for the community and for all. And this right here is the community. And I'm honored, personally honored, to stand here in mourning with you, to pray with you, and to seek justice with you. Thank you. I don't see Emily. Emily, let me, let me do it. Okay, uh, we will have here uh, Sika. Um, the okay, we'll keep as it is. Okay, we will have here uh, Horshed um, speak on behalf of um, Sika and then say a few words and then we will move uh, to the remaining speakers. I know there are a few folks that are here in this list. Uh, that are not here. Uh, but again, we just also want to make sure that uh, we keep it short and everyone uh, here speaks, especially uh, the Muslim community who wants to take this as an opportunity that they're looking uh, justice for um, Dr. Imam Muhammad.
Bismillah walhamdulillah salat salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ba'd in the name of Allah the merciful the compassionate first and foremost I want to thank our brothers and sisters in humanity who came here to support the interfaith group uh, second I want to say a few words about Muhammad Hassan my name is Horsed Noh and I am the outreach director of SICO Somali Islamic Centers of Ohio Muhammad Hassan and myself were fundraising for the famine in Horn of Africa few days before he disappeared. He was taking care of the orphans. He was feeding the homeless. His Friday sermons revolved around hope and mercy and love and compassion. Him and I were doing together a program for the youth to stay away from drugs, to stay away from gangs and violence and etc. Muhammad Hassan always used to say, and I have learned this from him, and I will say it from here. He taught me to say, aspire to inspire before you expire. I memorized this from him. He, I personally lost a brother, a friend, and a comrade. I ask the Almighty to bless his soul. I ask the Almighty to give tranquility to his grieving family. We have his daughter, and we have his son. And I really want to say something here about his son, and I hope I have the permission from him. When we came to the scene of the body of our brother and Imam Muhammad Hassan, and we were all grieving and crying, he grabbed me by the hand and he said to me, Adair Horset or Uncle Horset, it's time to pray. And Wallahi, Allah is my witness. At that moment, I was not even thinking about prayers. But his son grabbed my hand and said, it's time to pray. And this is the legacy of Sheikh and Dr. and Imam Muhammad Hassan. Thank you so much for coming here. And let's continue to revive the legacy of Imam Muhammad Hassan in our heart. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Imam Hursad. Uh, what we would do is we would have uh, two speakers uh, introduced by Imran. And then we would have the imams on the second row uh, to also address the crowd. Uh, please, again, we thank you so much for all of you coming out and showing support. We truly appreciate it. Imran? Assalamu alaikum once again. It's uh, my pleasure to introduce uh, Reverend uh, Pastor uh, Emily Cross, who has been a faith leader and interfaith leader, as well as uh, she's the associate uh, pastor at the church, the first community church, right where we started the march. And that's the point where we have the Social Justice Park of America as well, which is the only symbol that stands as a solidarity from uh, Columbus as a symbol of social justice in the entire America. So Emily, if you can please say a few words as well. Salam Alaikum. We gather on these steps because we are grieving the man who so many knew and so many who did not know him but will know of his story soon. We gather on these steps with hearts grieving but with hope in our hearts. The God that I know leaves us gifts. The person who dies leaves us gifts. The gift of education, the gift of charity, the gift of love, the gift of aspiring to inspire. And the person who leaves us also leaves us the gift of hope. That even in the darkest of despairs, in the deepest, darkest valley that Rabbi Mar spoke of, God does not leave us alone. That our God meets us there and will never let us go. And so for all who grieve this day, know that God is with you. And for the family and all those who knew Dr. Imam Muhammad Hassan, we, we ask and we pray and we will continue to pray that God will rest on our hearts and encourage us this day and always. And we know that there is too much violence on the streets of Columbus today. The last day of 2021 cannot be the story that moves into 2022. And it does not have to be a story about violence and guns and murder. 
It needs to be a story of love. A story that comes from my heart to yours and from yours to others and all of us working together. My heart is grieving. The Christian community that I am a part of is praying for your community every, every day and every week in our prayers. May God be with you this day and always. Amen. Thank you, Emily. And uh, so again, my pleasure to uh, introduce our last speaker from the Interfit community and also from the Community Advocacy Group, Morgan Harper. She is running for U.S. Senate and she's also fighting for the social advocacy and social justice for each and every minority that, stay, that calls Columbus as their home. So Morgan, please. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aram, and for the community for having me. And my deepest condolences to the family for what's occurred. And thank you to the organizers who have brought us together. <sighs> this is truly a sad day for all of us in Columbus, for all of us who care, who know what the legacy of Dr. Muhammad Hassan was, that was rooted in community and love. And the reason why I find myself in politics at all is because I got sick of trying to convince people to do the right thing, to understand the experiences that we're having at the community level, and just wanted people who would do it, who would feel what we feel. And I know that today we are all feeling that tremendous amount of sadness and fear and anxiety and hurt. So my only message really today and ask of all of you is that today isn't the last day that we all come together. That we know to get justice in the city of Columbus can sometimes be a long journey, but it is a journey that we will all take together in the memory of Dr. Mohammed Hassan and all that he stood for. And as was just mentioned, and this can't just be about justice for one. We truly have to work towards becoming a place and a city and in 2022 where no violence occurs at all. Because that is how we will best reflect the legacy of what he stood for. My heart again goes out to the family, to the community, to all of us. Because as we have seen over the past couple of years and as many of us have known for a long time, we are tied together eternally our vulnerability is collective and our freedom will come as well together thank you uh, thank you Morgan uh, it's about us at a time so what we would do is we would have uh, the Somali Community Association of Ohio's president Mr. Hassan Omar uh, say a few words and then after that we would be praying Asar and then uh, we come back and then do the remaining speakers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Faith leaders, community leaders, uh, everybody who came here to show support on behalf of Somali community, thank you very much. Uh, this shows that Muhammad did not left from Somali community, but he left the entire community in Columbus. I personally know Muhammad Hassan the first day he came to Columbus. And even that day we did, that day we did not have any uh, worship places. Together we worked together. And we found a space where actually he organized and made a fundraising and created the biggest mosque in Columbus. The last time I worked with him is during the coronavirus, when the lockdown, everybody was staying home. He had a food bank, and we worked together to reach out the people who were in need, people who didn't have a food. We did not scare the corona. He did not scare. So Muhammad was, I have to say that uh, he, he left a legacy that will never forget it. But we are praying for him. We're giving the condolences to his family. And everybody came out here. Also, thank you very much. Uh, I will say a couple of words in Somali language because everybody, I know some people don't speak Somali English and they are, they've been here today. So I'm cultural understand. 
كل جن انت ماشي نوع تمت شرف بين النوت هاي إن ما أنت توالك إن أنا قد أنت جيرو وحقوية إن نستجونتينو كنا استجونتينو إن نقلص وقيب جلنا دتك ديما هايستا أوردن هذا أهل الله هيد كريستيان جوز هندوس everybody مسلم are here today to support us سيد الدراد إن نجوا حنا واجب من نمذو ووح واجب ووية وحنا قد أنت عرور فربضن أو صدم كبضن وأن أجن هاي وأما هاي سدلن أما يسدلن مركب حوية وحن من سنة هاي إن أيهان الله هيد ونعكسنا له عرور تاس إن الله ساقبته وحنو بحنا عدالة وحن ربنا دتك أن دارنا أو ماشي عن لقاح حكومة قال له كولومبوس إن أي مسؤول كنا قلنا دبعت هذه الكومينة عن كده هذا وأيه النجوا حن كم من هاي بوشة ما قال له دكان وحن حقول له إن هاي نك كريمنا له أو عرور تاس إن الله إن لقبته وحن حقول له إن هاي نك كريمنا له أو محمد حسن قبته إن لقبته وحنو بحنا وحن أصلا إن also I will I I met Somali business community. Even today, even though the CARE announced it, uh, like $10,000 award, they are working on even over $100,000 to award as a Somali community business leader is met today. So we'll talk about it later on today. But thank you for coming out. Thank you for your support. And we are grateful to being in Columbus, being a friend of every faith and everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, President Hassan. Uh, I have been advised that we can push a little more uh, Salat al-Asr. So in regards to that, uh, we would have a few more speakers and then uh, we would be praying Asr, inshallah. So I have here with me uh, Dr. Marwan Mohammed uh, from Ask Muslim, who have also worked with Dr. Mo uh, Mohammed Hassan. Uh, he would say a few uh, words, uh, but please, I ask everyone to keep it short to two to three minutes. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have known Sheikh Muhammad Hassan for many years, and I worked with him closely in many levels. And I could tell you for sure, this man is an honorable man that really helped the community, Muslims and non-Muslims at all levels. A man who was after the help of the orphans, a man after the help of trying to, to establish peace in the community, a man after helping the, the youth in, this, in, the, in the community. And as our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have taught us, and this is very important, brothers and sisters, that he taught us that if God, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves an individual, he would call upon Jibreel and he would tell him, Ya Jibreel, inni uhibbu fulan abdi fulan. Oh Jibreel, I love this person, son of this person. And then what would happen? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told us that fayudau lahu al fil ard. That people would accept him. People would love him. People, whether they know him and whether they don't know him, they would love him. And this is a proof of your presence here, brothers and sisters. Tell them to wait, not to pray, we pray together. For, uh, for the brothers over there, please, we will pray together, inshallah. So, so don't start, please. No, no, don't start. So the point here, brothers and sisters, that our presence here is the fact that we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I believe he loved this man. God Almighty loved this man, and that's why we are here. And we want to continue this, his legacy. And the point here, brothers and sisters, is that we want and we urge everyone to find a decent disclosure to what happened to this man. Because if, if, if we don't do that, then I would, I would believe, and I think all the faith leaders here believe with me too, that we will become vulnerable ourselves. Because how, if a man of this cal caliber went like this, what is, what is going to protect any of us for the same thing to happen to them? Brothers and sisters, this is something that we have to push for and we have to work with together and we have to show solidarity with, uh, among, um, among ourselves to make sure that we reach and see the truth and justice happen to this man. I, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of you and thank you all. Jazakumullah khairan. Uh, Salaamu Alaikum. For those of you who wanted to pray Asr, please uh, wait f uh, 10 more minutes. Uh, we would be praying together. So please, yeah, you can come back and uh, join the rest of the crowd. Uh, again, uh, here uh, we have uh, Dr. Imam Abdurrahman Shah Umar, 
who is also one of the founders of Ayana, which is an Islamic organization in North America, uh, but also an Islamic scholar. I would want to invite to the body, um, uh, Dr. He's not here. Oh, okay. Uh, he's here, so he will uh, say a few words. And then once we finish the remaining of the speakers, then we can all pray together Salatul Asr. So please uh, give us a few more minutes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, I thank everybody who came here uh, to support uh, Imam Muhammad Hassan Adam. And I came from Minnesota, flew to here uh, to participate the funeral of Muhammad Hassan. <coughs> Uh, 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 we lost a, a, a great imam, a great father, a great person to the all humanity, and uh, we are very sad to lose Dr. Muhammad, Shah Muhammad Hassan Adam, and we ask Allah uh, to give him his Jannah and his reward. Uh, we, as a Muslim community, as a Somali community, as a, uh, the organization that he was a secretary of it, we are, nobody can fill his, the position that he was filling Muhammad Hassan. And what we ask for the government, we don't see the crime that was committed by killing Dr. Muhammad Hassan. We don't see the justice. Everybody, everybody, everyone dies, but we wanted the justice who committed this crime to Imam Muhammad. We are asking justice, and we are asking justice now, right now. There is no even a suspect for the killing of Imam Muhammad who brought them, also prayed the Maghrib, and he went outside, and he is missing. We have found his body, and we buried yesterday. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him Jannah. We are very sad, we are very sad, we feel. Inna lillahi wa inna ilihi raja'oon. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. We have uh, two more speakers, and then after that, uh, we would be praying Asr, inshallah. But before we do that, I would want it to have here uh, the son and the daughter of our late uh, brother, Imam Muhammad Hassan, uh, to say a few words, and then uh, we'll uh, do the remaining two speakers. Okay, uh, we have here uh, both uh, the daughter and uh, the son of late Imam uh, Muhammad Hassan. Uh, again, uh, we are here, all of us, to show our support uh, for uh, getting justice for Imam uh, Muhammad. So I would ask if they could say a few words, and then uh, we would do with the remaining of the speakers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessing be all over you. Uh, my name is Shukri Muhammad Hassan. Uh, thank you so much for gathering here, showing um, your support. And I'm so sorry I can't talk a lot, but I really do ab apologize if I can't say uh, a couple of sentences straight. Uh, thank you so much, all of you. I really appreciate uh, for giving me the support. Um, to say a brief words about my dad. My dad was a father, 
um, he was a husband, he was a friend, and most importantly, he was my best friend and my mentor. Um, to be honest with you, I thought he shown us only his family the love, but today I realized that um, the love and the care that the, he had for us, he also had for his community. Um, he also had for community, for different, um, I'm so sorry. Um, one of the uh, one of the best thing that I learned from him was to care everyone and be open hearted. He was he never yelled at uh, people, um, and he never shown any hatred, no matter what. He used to say, "It's okay," and, and just move on. Don't hate that person, and don't do anything to that person because. It's gonna be okay, and he usually always tell me it's gonna be okay, and and I don't think we will be okay. But if we get the justice, if we get the police, um, and and the detectives and everyone shown us the justice that my dad deserve, I will realize that that this is the time that we're gonna be okay. Because I lost my dad today, and you might lose my, your dad at the same time. So we need to do something today, that way we need to prevent our, our nearest future, the kids and, 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 and everyone. And I'm so sorry, I don't think I can talk enough. Thank you so much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Abdul Khabir Mohammed Hassan. Um, we thank everyone who has come here today to seek justice for my father. His legacy will not be forgotten. We appreciate the efforts of the city, the police, and Mayor Ginther to provide as many resources as possible to the investigation. Thousands of people loved my father and need answers as soon as possible. We recognize that the process can take time but we want a detailed investigation without unnecessary delay and for city and police officials to keep our family informed at every step of the way. We call upon the community to be respectful to law enforcement and work with the police to solve this crime. Wassalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. And may Allah uh, rest his soul in peace. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, two more speakers, and then after that, uh, we would be praying Asar. Uh, the Asar prayer call uh, would be uh, done by uh, Abdul Khabir Mohammed, and then Asar prayer would be led by Imam Mustafa. So I would like to uh, have here uh, the German of the Islamic Association of North America, Dr. Mursal. Mohammed Murso uh, to say a few words and then we have one more speaker and then we would uh, pray Asr inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on our beloved brother, Shaykh, Imam, and Dr. Muhammad Hassan. Ameen. My name is Imam Muhammad Mursal from Minnesota. And I am the chairman of Ayana Islamic Association of North America. An umbrella that has more than 40 mosques and Islamic centers. That Imam Muhammad Hassan was the secretary of this organization. We lost a Imam. We lost a great father 
we lost a great man. Those of you who don't know Imam Muhammad Hassan, I learned him in 2000. From that time till now, Muhammad Hassan was walking for the da'wah and helping other people. From Ayana member, we have more than 20 Imams who are here today. More than 20 Imams who are here today to attend this solidarity for Imam Muhammad Hassan. For Somali speakers, I think I'm to Imam Muhammad Mursal. I'm going to Minnesota. وحان شير مان كذا هاي هاي أدلة إلى هذا أيانا أيانا محيطة هاي وإسلامي أسوسيشن في نورث أمريكا وهي أدلة أقوين أما هي أدلة أقوى وين المسلمين تويليهم بكمتا إمام محمد وهو هاي ليدلي ألكتر سكرتري في أيانا قفنا بوس كيسي نوم بوحن كارو قفنا بوس كيسي نو بوحن كارو صادرت الوحان ويني او نغاد انتي قف اذي اذن او قالي اه او ان رنتي او باهن هاي انا عدالة هلو one last point to add i am so disappointed not to see elected officials and governor and mayor on this location today what do we need Justice. What do we need? Justice. What do we need? Justice. When? Now. When? Now. <coughs> My dear brother and sister, I am from Minnesota. I am 100% sure if this happened in Minnesota, my governor, Tim Wallace, would be at this point. And I need the governor of Ohio to be here. And we need justice. What do we need one more time? Justice. What do we need? Justice. What do we need? Justice. When? Now. When? When? Uh, thank you very much. Um, we have one more speaker, and then after that, uh, we would be uh, brain Asar, inshallah. Like I said earlier, you know, Muhammad, uh, Dr. Imam Muhammad has touched so many lives. He was a businessman, he was a father, he was a husband, he was a brother, he was a community leader, in all of that. So, I would want it to have here again uh, Dr. Imam Yusuf Abdullah, who is also a member of the Islamic Association of North America. And then after that, we would be praying. So, uh, Brother Abdul Khabir Muhammad, uh, the son of late Muhammad, is going to call uh, the Asr prayer. And then uh, Imam Mustafa uh, is going to lead also Asr prayer, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, my name is Yusuf Abdullah, Y-U-S-U-F, Abdullah, A-B-D-U-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I'm the executive director of IANA, Islamic Association of North America. And I am so moved, encouraged, emboldened by all of you here today. It's okay, I know. If I get this closer, I have to get to my... So, I am really encouraged by these beautiful faces who came out for Imam Sheikh Muhammad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have his mercy on him. I have two messages to, say, to share with you. A lot have been said, and a lot will be said. And our actions will speak louder than our voices today. First thing I would like to say is I'm carrying a message from his family that Imam Muhammad was, he bought luggage and bags for the kids, for his children, to take them for vacation. They were ready. 
He never did. He was not able to take them. You can understand that. As a father, as a child, as a parent, your kids are waiting for you to take them for vacation. And you will never be there to take them to that vacation. The second message is, we know who Sheikh Muhammad is. We know what he did. I personally believe as his legacy lives on, we did not lose him. As, his, as long as his legacy lives on and we keep it on and alive, Sheikh Muhammad will be with us. That is our duty. Second, the third point I would like to say is, we need those who murder Sheikh Muhammad to be brought to justice as soon as possible. We need commitments, not lip services. We need plans, strategies to solve these cold cases of young Somali boys. We need Sheikh Mohammed's case to be a key for solving all these cold cases. The Attorney General, the Mayor's Office, the Police Department, the elected officials have all responsibilities to safeguard the community, to protect them, to solve the murders. It is not fair that Columbus, I'm not from Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, has a higher rate in murders than Chicago. Can you believe that? It is not nice in Chicago. It is not nice in here. People, it is not statistics. People, are, it's number, numbers are people. We're talking about people. One is many. So brothers and sisters, Please, let's keep that legacy of Sheikh Mohammed, fight for the justice, and bring those preparators to justice. Jazakumullah khair, and thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for all of you here. But I just want to make sure that we thank more than enough for the interfaith leaders that are here, that without them, we wouldn't be able also to be here. Uh, they have really shown us their support, and once we finish uh, the Asr prayer, inshallah, we would be going back to the church. So again, uh, thank you so much for all of you uh, showing up uh, this peaceful match and showing support for seeking justice for uh, Imam Muhammad. I would like to have here uh, Brother Abdul Khabir to call for Adhan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ayu Abdusak Hashi. And we have a city hall in Galada, Columbus, Ohio. وحنا سكون نمد إن إن هل نو حقي ولكن شق محمد حسن أو هبي نمدي قميص أربعة دي هروي جهر الله أفضل بتي شق عادي نمد كسر هل ناي وحنا سكون نمانت دمانت نسكون تاجنا هاي سنا أهل نحقي ولكن شق محمد حسن دمانو حنا كعصنا إن هذا ولد دا إن لامها أمان ك إن الكوك عن سيو إن هل نو ضت يكد مي دل كسفاش حما لوج يا شيخ إني شق محمد حسن وما سنتي مجاي جوا محمد حسن نور كولومبس انت بدن اي قانان كومونيتي محمد نور هل كانوا حانو ايمان ايمان تا انان عاوينو اما ان كدي دينو لباتدي كود عضي ولال كان بروفسور محمد محمد حسن ادم وها نين كومونيتي ليدر اه ايمام اه هو جامية اه عاوين جري او تاقير جري دتك مساكين تا سيدا that ka derbichivka ama homeless kalo yaqa no English ka i agwanta ba marka nin uhu aha Somali de kaliya maha na that ka bahano dan awinchere na haris rabani ya kuchirte hogam hogam nima kuchirte hadana ay gaanka garad daran dishay ila hadana an logain idi dishay baratankina u saada 
إلى وحن كبرينا إن جانتي كجر درنيت أي سير نقصا أوصى بحدو عدالة دنا لمرسيو إن شاء الله وأنا دب تجناني نا ووصعنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ما أنت وحاب فضل الله تعالى نوسو جب جبوبي دب تبحي أن كد البني ني أي بالشذي إنه سومالي مسلمين دنا المسلمين هين عربي عجم أي كد البني ين حقي إيو ديجي شيخ الإمام كان الدكتور محمد حسن رحمة الله عليه ما أنت مدرسة وحاك هذا لي سيتي هولكا أو أحرون تلاقي ما أمله كل مصاعي وحاك هذا لي هجامي يال دي مكة لدون هذا نقول له هيد قلنا جوش كوميونيتيا هذا نقول له هيد قل يهان تشارج ككنيسة ذاها إيوه بحرون توانوي ما دين محايا لي ظلم يسقط إن لاقه هرتقو والله إسكا كاشة ذا أودي مهنا نو كل دون لكن قضايات كعام كونسكا كاشة نام وحال الحمد لله إن لا تشوقي علماء الدين كني الصوماليات كي يقوم ميزان كعصلا يقوم مقام كسريي نورث أمريكا رنتي أو مركب مقلين غير ذا إلا هذا إن لا تشوقي نلحب عليه ما أنتنا مدشن إن لا تشوقي وحان ربا بعد الله عز وجل إن أمة هاد عليو ولا عليه الصوماليات هرموت كاها برنامج كان بعض الصحافة أو مالين كي شيخ اللواي مركي الله هلي حباشي إلا حد ضو بيسون جرب تاجن حنربا إن نوم هاد عليه هيو ينكي قبوجن سولوجي دتك سامالي ده شقدو ده معرفة كسو تجي وحن ضل بني ما أنت حقي شيخة وحن تصني إن الله حساب تامي كرنو دتك نعود كي نكو صباحا وحن شيء جينا مساجد أو عد انتي مادان حرة يوجه ليان يوم هرضا هي جو مادان مدة عيسو إلا أنت ديجا سوماليد ميلا ساريو شيخ محمد وحكوري صدني اللي حويلا سوماليد صدق قف هدان الخلدنين أم بالله لدتك فلك أوجستي الحمد لله مرك ما أنت وحن كفر أحسن هاي دتك إن إن أمبرني إني حق ودرات سنكرانو حرونتي مادين وإذا عده أركان وقالوا يا يهود يعدوا البناء السومالي إذا أركتي إنه ينتهي حق وذو استاجية إن أنت سان ربع إن شيغو وحارونتي دتك هذا سو جيتي ويل كيس عبد خبير ويل كي مرحوم كا مركو إذان ككل في تصلاة دتك وياري أو دتك الشعور كبرتي الشيخ أنا الشيخ مصطفى نتوجي علماء ذي أردن أو صف سوق شو ودو عيسي برحدا أو لجوه ذا تكذي أو ما أنت ماشن إلى هاي قدري إن مرحوم كا ويل كيس أو كإذان أو لجوه تكذو إن جزاكم الله خيرا أدب من بعض الصحافة ذي دوم هاد علينا الحمد لله صلى الله وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. إن لله وانا اليه راجعون، الهي نحريس ربي الله سيء ولكن شيخ محمد حسن ادم وكان كحق درن يكود شيء مقالدا اوهايو قبل مقالدا كولومبوس قبل كان اوهايو وان شاء الله يكون حبالني مقالدا كولومبوس الهي مركز جنة فردوس الله جايو تن كلامات وحاوي وحا نسكو يمادي اودل جالدها كلا دوان حتى عدد كديمها كلا دوانا كلا هيسي هدي مسلميهين يا هدي كريستانيهين يا هدي يهوديهن تبغى نسكو يمت أيضا أنت سمعنا هيسكو وذا كاشان هيان إن لقوا أرتقى وحضول مجال إيرادا ما حق درادو حل إيرادو وأرن بوا هنمر كنا نسكو وذا كاشان مركب وحنسي جود هاند يسي جار هاند بنسكو ضر دار من هدا نهج جالد الصوماليات يكون دغام دل كمرك نكغاس تنقبل كانوا هايو إن أنا نسكو كاشان أنا نسكو كاشان سيد عن حق أجوه اللي لهين ولال كان شاه محمد يو انت كلو ايه قبا مقان دمان توت ودبك او ودا غاري داد بدن او صومالية داد دو مسلمين ودبك او دا غاري باشرا سيدا نوغو ودا هل الهين انا كل لغانا نوغو دا استاقنو اسكانا كاشان نو انقو مدين اينا رأي يغان نغا انقو مدين اينا دقالا نغا انقو مدين اينا عدود دنا دا انتا با انتا سان كل لغان يان ودا ان دون اينا ما انتا خير بدن الله سيو ان اللي انت كسوق ب آدي آدي بودا مهات سنجهين جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رجعي وحسين حسن عيال واقع الشيخ محمد حسن آدم قرابة دي سوس بان اها قريدنا وحق إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون عرور تيسي حليبا لتشوغي إلهي بان نقوب رينا إن شاء الله إلو إلهي جندي سوغي عرور تيسانا أي نقضان كو بش بش يوسيد سوى أجع لأينا كوبر باران تن لواد ودان كان مرايك كان كعدد كيس سجوي يمد أما هل كان يمد وعدد دي مك اللي دوان أم أحلى ده أوبريشن كسو على راي هل كان أي حرية ده ده يكون هلان سومالي وما ما هيدا وحيدا هيسا ااا إنت ما ما هذا وجد بنا وحاوي يعني دات كا سو جد ب هل كان يمد حقوقه ده سو رأسن لا يعني إنه كم يتبانا إنه رأسن ومهم أنا صلاة في مركز دات كسومالي ده هل كان دكان ما ما سومالي ده وحيلا ده سومالي سومالي دو 
ويل كيد دين تيسد اللو دوك تواي تاقانا لكن كان نول سيد اللوغة تالية ديل كا حون كا فاش حون كردعا ما وحكو سوى 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 لوغة بروتكشن لوغة سماي ما تاقانا معنية دو اه ما ما دو عيدا يسا سوى مالي دو كيد دين تيسد اللو دوك لو دوك تواي تاقانا لكن كان نول ما تاقانا سيد اللوغة هرتاقو لباعتا دو كسوى سوى عرور فربضن ايو شاق محمد حقو اها وعاون جرينين انو هاد فيديو انكا هايو هل كان او هوملس او اينا ايا جري حانو لان هاي انو مرة بعد مرسة دحات انكو علينا اينا سوامالي دا قبل كان دقن اما دقن با رمان قبل الله دا منطقة انا مرايك انكا نقل السواقة يبقى لسا حقوق دا شا محمد الله هلو وحانو لقوه اللي كراو حاو يعني عود كاني يضدني مداني انك دانينا مداني قاسة قويسك فاملك وحانو لانا انكو اد ياد بان انكو مهد علينا انا مالك استوديو كتان سيد سوامالي نمدى وناقا اسلان نمدى كجرتو نقل القيق وشان مركة سنة نقل منطقة انا دي دي سان شاء الله اد ياد انكو مهد علينا السلام عليكم السلام عليكم عبد الرزاق شيخ علي إنا لله وإنا إليه الراجعون مركك وبادو وحان تعسي أدريا قويسكي يقرأ بدي يهلكي وكالنتي والعلكن إيمان محمد حسن رونهان تجاري عدو حنون بدن بيا حيد وليبا وحان نصيبو يشي قدقي حوشان قيبتك أها وسوق بنقابي صباح معانتا إيو آسكي يدوغي شالي لبادو بيا نان كمي دها وحان ودرياني إنه ها قف سوماليا إسلاما بلشدة سوماليات يبلشدة إسلام كويدلنا كوضع بحي أد بنو فرح صنا هاي إن صباح يجي معنته وسوق روح بدر إنه قدر ماضي إلى هي السجن وحان رجيني أنا حريص في سجن إنه كورابيو قيس كي يقرأ بدي أهل كي أصحابتي يوم مدي سومالي دي إسلام كهذا وكبحنا دمار سمري ما نجاوب ده سيو هاوش هذا يبلون نوت هاي إن شاء الله إن تكرنا وحن رجيني إن إن إنه دبجل يدبيستاكو سما إنه كوحد الشيء يقف كي دليل الله بدبا سعد على الله ركن إن شاء الله الرحمن الرحيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن لله وإن إليه راجعون إن لله وإن إليه راجعون إنت أسكتب أنا سوكي شغال ومجرد وحالي لا حاجة محمد نور وكوماندر اندوس وحان كتاغنا هاي كوميونتي ذا كولومبوس خاصة أضياش الليدر شيب كا أنا وكو هالا مجا أضياش أنا وكو هالا مجا قدون كسرة أضياش وحان هالك تحسية تيراني إمبرغالا أو سوجيدنا يا قوسكي إيه هلدي ودمام بوكا جريودي ولكن محمد حسن وحان إلهي وبرينا إنه قبل أو سيرة جنة فردوس أنا كوا رابيو دما وحاول كور قلنا إن أهل هذا يقرأوا هذا قصة سومالو أنت كلام بس هاي جوكتو إن كدي ديان أنا استغنى سيد إيمان تو قدي ديان أي سنة قرن مت لابل كعه أو وقت يرقاته أنت أنك جاري إنه حق ولكن هلستيسا تعلم تيسا يبادي جوب كيسا وعند ديار أنا هاي إن أنا أنا جو إسكت دوبن أنا جو إسكت حرن أنا جو قوميت كلا أهل هذا القوميت أنا جو هذا مجا وضنه أنا جو هذا الجنسية وضنه أنا جو هذا الدين وضنه أنا جو هذا إمام والله نماهن إن تدك أشي كلا أو فكرة أنا جوحنا هاي خل وحنا كم إذا نصنا هاي سد حرم وضع آه لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله مسلم ماذا وحنا كم إذا نصنا هاي ما جاء الصومالية وحنا كم إذا نصنا هاي درس نماذا إيه كولومبوس أو هايو أقيدون كي كلا دون أشي هكوسي ديران منه وحنا لا نه أنا جو إذا نصنا هاي نتكلم ولكن الله سود تجي حقيسة وحنا ودون إن سد أو رخصة بدله ون استغنى إن حقيسة إلى أن نموج أنا جنا صادق إنه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مجعيق وحلي هذا سليمان آلان قابا وحنا كمد أهي هل هذا الشيخ عن كمد أهي رنتي صاحب له نواهين ما أنت وحي هالك أكرد عي أصوم على ذا كولومبوس ودمان وحي أهيد لب كرد عي أمد الصوم عليه وأنا كت تعسينا يا أمد الصوم على ذا بقول تعسينا يا رنتي أنا جو أرنت على سد الكاس وقعد بين نوتيرا يسي وحنا عتسنا إن إن عدالة الله هلا وحنا أمهد علينا أمد الصومالية دمان جود هان ري كولومبوس إيو دات كقيمة قبل هذا أنت أقرب بدن أمريكان ك إيو قبل هذا إيو كندا لفت هذا دات بانك سو جاري مرك هذا يقوم هاتيهن أو دات كي مرتدي هالك إنه قيمة إيو أنت ببرديقة أو كقيم قات الشيء خاصيتة ديك كل عاي وقت بدنا آد إيو آد أيان كقوم هاد علينا وحن إلهي كبرينا ديك الشيء خلوجيستي إن وكسو صار وحقي سإلهي وصوت داهري أيان إلهي أكثر كرجينينا وأنا مهتنتين أمد الصومالية ضدنا دبعت كل عدد أمد الصومالية ضدنا ووو وح محو عيته خاصة أهلك أو فاميلك أو وكتير عروتي سنة وكتير تعسينا يا وحنا اللي هي الصومالية ده هر كولومبوس سيد سيد ونحسن بعد سمعت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن لله وإنا إليه راجعون وحن تاجن هاي جوبتي أن أم ظهر هذا إنه ولكن وحن أنا جو مجايجو هود إبراهيم وحن كي ما ذي قبل كمان الصورة وحن عائلة ذا هوسة وذاتك 
وحن دوننا إن ده يعني نلت تري وحن ربنا إن أهلنا عدالة رسمة أولاك إن ودون إن قانتي كحقدرنا أود شيء يعني كأت سنة إن هاي ده أمني دولة إن أي سوق بتاع أي مارس ما أركت لقد اللي كان كل يقول هيد اللي لما مري عدالة وما تسمعلين يقول يقول بنا ما رجعنا يا أنتي كقب قادر هاي سنة إلى هي أجر يا سحنا ذا كسي أنا قادر نقدر شيء سلاحنا ما في دمه والسلام عليكم